Oh, hi. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to do all the YouTube things. Comment, subscribe, and slap that like button like you would a steak that needs to be tenderized. You know, because it's National Meat Week. As always, I hope you are all staying safe. The bar here continues to be closed as COVID-19 reaches new milestones. Worldwide, the cases have hit over 100 million, and the U.S. makes up a quarter of that with our own known cases alone. We have now gone past the one-year mark of when the first officially declared COVID-19 case was found in the U.S. To think one year ago from around now, Trump was telling Bob Woodward just how deadly this virus was. He was told January 28, 2020, that this virus would be the biggest national security threat to his presidency. It was explained that it could be transmitted through the air and by people who had no symptoms. January 28th, 2020. Instead of letting us know this important and possibly life-saving information, Trump lied to us and downplayed its severity. That alone should be enough to ensure Trump never runs for the office of the presidency again. If that wasn't enough, there's plenty more. Like inciting a dangerous riot, gaslighting, racism, bigotry, xenophobia, and the over 30,000 other lies, just to name a few things. To think half of the Republican Party still thinks Trump Trump will help them win more House seats next year. After the Georgia races showed it's possible he may hurt more than help. We'll see. Let's get into the news. Welcome to Barely a Bar's Woke 52 Season 2 Week 4. I'm your chef, Hila Hila. This is a beautiful steak. You'll like this. I am just using salt and pepper and a bit of brown sugar. It's going to really bring out the flavor and aroma when cooking. I'm going to suggest Poppy for this one tonight. Let me get this on the fire. A new coronavirus variant detected in South Africa is now found in more than 30 countries. Tests are being done to see if it's resistant to the vaccines. President Biden ordered more vaccines to cover every American. One may wonder why Trump could not do this one simple task. Biden also signed executive actions that will address systemic racism in prison, housing, COVID-19 relief, and tribal relations. A chief federal judge gave a blistering rebuke to Capitol riot suspects during a hearing and called their actions an assault on American democracy. The judge denied bail and ruled they stay in jail to await their trial. Speaker Pelosi warned that the enemy within Congress is a security threat, in reference to some pro-Trump Republicans who don't want to upset the apparently violent base, while also blaming Trump for creating a hostage situation and costing the GOP Georgia Senate seats. The SEC plans to investigate the decision several firms made to try to restrict people from trading on stocks that are normally shorted by hedge funds and investors. The Black Lives Matter movement was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Boom! 52 seconds. Now, 52 seconds is not a lot of time to catch all the news happening, so here's one of our contributors in our segment, 59 Seconds with Sky Bear. Some powerhouses. Close Leachman, she died at the age of 94 on Wednesday the 27th. Cecily Tyson, she died at the age of 96 on Thursday the 28th. Such a powerhouse. Uh, Jeanette Moose, a resident evil voice actor, she died on the 28th too at the age of 39 due to colon cancer. The legendary powerhouse and uh, electronic producer Sophie, she passed away this morning due to an accidental fall. I'm sending my love and prayers to all the family. Really don't think Wall Street ever saw it coming. <laughs> yes, crazy things have been happening with this whole GameStop stock. Can you say it three times now? Don't worry, I got other people to do it for. Thank you to everyone who helped me out for that. But... It's time to get to work. A group of people on Reddit decided to buy stock in GameStop, knowing that there were billionaires who were rooting for GameStop demise so they can receive money. But since they bought all that stock, they wind up losing their money. And they're mad, man. <laughs> Some of the billionaires were really mad about it, and there was even certain apps like Robinhood that literally went against their whole idea of their name. Stock exchange was free market. That was a fucking lie. So people are taking Robin Hood to court for stopping people buying stock. Thanks, Sky Bear. Every last week of the month or so, we're also taking a look at some of the tech news we may have missed out on. Here's one of our new contributors in our newest segment, Barely a Techie. Oh, hi there. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you're doing well wherever you are, wherever you happen to be. My name is Chow. I'm a lizard. And today, I would like to be your guide for the latest in tech news. I enjoy art, music, movies, technology, and today I'm gonna to focus on the tech stuff. So here we go. Apple announced plans to start cracking down on apps on the iOS that track your data to send you focused ads as early as spring. 
Facebook and Google are trying to fight back by showing how their tracking improves the customer experience. Facebook is also reportedly considering a lawsuit. President Biden is said to be putting together a cybersecurity dream team that will oversee all U.S. government security and is funded within the $10 billion proposed military budget bill. Netflix is testing a new timer feature on Android devices that stops streaming after a set period of time. With adjustable 15-minute increments, it's aimed at helping you conserve battery life and not continue to autoplay, allowing you to pick up where you may have dozed off. PlayStation VR has filed a patent that shows the company is looking into technology that will allow advertisers to send you ads in the headset right above the viewable area of a game. Robin Hood tried to pause the bear rush of online investing in shorted stocks that hit Wall Street this week. After taking fire from Congress and getting sued, they seem to have reversed course. They are still recommended as one of the best apps to use for investing. Well, that's a lot of information there. The VR headset is pretty interesting. Netflix, I think that's a cool feature because I like my Netflix and that'll probably come in handy. Thanks everybody, enjoy, and thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye. Thanks, child. Thank you for watching. If you like these news blasts, feel free to share a bear with your friends. You can also like, comment, subscribe, and click the notifications alert bell to stay woke 52 times a year in 52 seconds of news. Want more news with your favorite news bear? Feel free to stay till the end to watch some clips or images with me. Bye for now.